Restringing an auto harp, part one, getting the strings off. These are the tools I'll be using, a tea wrench, a little bit of drinking straw cut to two and one eight inches long, a pair of snippers, cut the wires, a pair of needle nose pliers, quite a stiff looking brush, and a couple of screwdrivers. I'll be restringing my FC Daigle Desert Rose Order Harp. The other thing I need of course is the strings. Here's a complete set of strings that I've got from Pete Daigle. Uh, this is how they come. Uh, arranged in a nifty little corrugated cardboard roll each string clearly labelled as to which it is on the order harp. First thing then is to get rid of the cord bars, so I'm removing the cord bar covers. Be careful that you know which is which, these are labelled treble and bass. In fact the treble has got a lot more felt on it than the bass end. Then I'm lifting off my lock bars very carefully because underneath those there are a couple of springs. Pete uses uh, polycarbonate flanges to support the cord bars but the lock bars have also got springs on and you don't want to lose those. So we'll get rid of all of the cord bars. This FC harp hasn't been changed now for something like two or three years. I, I tend to go two or three years be between changes. Of course while they're off I'll check all the bars, uh, check the felting, they're okay. The other thing I'll be looking at is the pickup. Okay the next thing I need to do is remove the end plate cover which when you do it you can see how firmly anchored the string anchor is. Okay, then we slacken off the strings. I have heard and seen people just cut these and release them. I tend to do it a bit more carefully. I use the T wrench to go three complete turns, that's six half turns. One, two, three, four. Five, six half turns on each of the tuning pins. I tend to do the six bass ones first, then six treble ones, and then six more bass, and so on. Using the pliers, I can unhook those easily then from the tuning pins. There's no question of the string snapping and flying up in your face or anything like that, as long as you slacken them off properly first. There's a couple of ways of getting them out of the um, fine tuners. For the bass strings I find it best to just remove the fine tuning um, screw and then just tease the string out with the uh, pliers and straight away put the fine tuner cam back in so you don't lose it. It, it is difficult to pull the wound strings right through those fine tuning cams so I just unscrew the fine tuner and then just tease the string out. For the treble strings just unhook them and then snip off the curly bits because then it will just pull easily right through the tuning cam and you can just pull it out without taking the cams out. Let's do another one. Unhook it, snip off those wriggly bits which are difficult to pull through and then pull it out. Then you have all of the strings off, now's the time to give it a good cleaning. I also remove one of the combs so I can adjust the pickup. Uh, you'll notice that the brass rods 
at the uh, top and the bottom of the string are detachable it's a good idea to give them a clean with some metal polish and uh, cloth not just to make them look sparkly new but also to get rid of any burrs that could make the strings buzz just there uh, be careful with these they fly about all over the place they're not held in they just sit there held by the tension of the strings I also like to just adjust the pickup a little bit just by bending down the feet at the end just a fraction so that the pickup stands proud of the top of the order harp this will stop it buzzing and just a small posi drive screwdriver to replace the cord bar holder.